Hey, comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, yes, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do that all important comic book review, fans, so you guys can make a decision what comic books to buy. So, guys, today we're going to be talking about the Dark Side War issue, or part number three, otherwise known as Justice League issue number 43. Cool cover here as you get to see uh, Batman on the chair. And we get to see Lex Luthor, and then you get to see Superman on the other side. But much different Superman. That's right, guys. So uh, this book is written by Jeff Johns, which is totally awesome. He's a great writer. Whatever he writes is gold. And uh, it stays true to the Justice League series. Uh, the artwork in this particular issue is done by Jason Favick, who's a wonderful artist. And I think he does a great job with the artwork in this series. Uh, it's just so realistic, and uh, uh, just the colors fit this book. It's it's just it's a fantastic book to look at. Um, every every person or every creature is just so full of detail here. Whether whether it's a battle scene or just a scene where two characters are looking at each other, where here you can see Clark who is um, bleeding, and I'll tell you why he's bleeding in this issue in a little bit. To just all kinds of war scenes and things like that. It's just a phenomenal book to look at. I love looking at this book. So, what was this story about this time around? Well, in this issue, you wind up seeing that Stephen Wolf comes to Calabec and he sits there and says, Oh, we got to go to war. And Calabec is just, he's a tough guy, man. He's got this like spine. He's just sitting there going, I don't do anything. I just do shit for Calabec, you know? And uh, he doesn't want to listen to it at first. But the way this book is, is broken up, and I said this in the last issue, is that there's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of subplots and different things going on. And, and, and the way Jeff John separates the book, he makes it very easy to understand what's going on in each different plot. So that's basically how the book starts. And then we wind up getting to see... Uh, Batman, who's on the chair and all already, he's just like, it's my chair, you know? And uh, and Jordan's just like, dude, you can't handle all that power and whatnot. And he's just like, yeah, I can. So it's just some funny stuff there kind of in the beginning. He's just He just wants all the answers. He feels that he can handle it out of anybody in here. And the cool thing about this book, too, is you wind up seeing uh, Lex Luthor and Superman uh, on Apocalypse. And uh, they have to do battle against uh, dark side's minions and whatnot and there's no sun around there's no yellow sun to give superman his power so his powers are obviously weakened and in the issue you wind up seeing that he's bleeding and he's weakened he can't fly he can't do anything but there was good character moments in this book with lex luther and superman they were like almost becoming buddies they were like bonding in this issue and i was like dude that's pretty awesome uh you get to see gray on this issue again uh, she's gathering the troops for war. She does this spell. She doesn't really do too much in here. I think that they can, you know, you can kind of flesh out her character more. Uh, but she doesn't do it. Batman kind of explains it in the chair of who she is and where she's come from. And she explains that uh, to Diana. Uh, Diana has good narration in this book as well, uh, how she explains things that's going on from her eyes, uh, which I think is really neat. And uh, again, by the time you wind up getting to the end of this issue, you wind up seeing that the troops are called to war, and the Anti-Monitor, and Darkseid, and Grail, and Calabac, and everybody are about to go to this big war. It's about time, because this has been called the Dark Side War, and there's been no war yet until going into issue four. You just see them starting right here but this is a beautiful page like i said i'm going back to jason fabric's artwork it's just awesome to look at and so by the time you wind up getting to the end of this um lex luther and superman are getting overrun by parademons in the issue and so what happens is lex comes up with this plan saying you know these apocalypse is place is fueled by the sun cells so he like drops and Superman into the fire pits of Apocalypse. I don't think that's too smart, Lex. I think that's kind of a bad idea. So what happens is he winds up, you know, dropping them in, and then the next thing you wind up coming out, it's uh, kind of like an evil Superman. Reminds me of a, like a Mr. Negative from Spider-Man. Uh, so you can say it's like a Mr. Negative Superman because he's very evil-like, and he shoots this X-ray vision that's black and gray. Crazy stuff at the end of this. And, uh... 
uh, you know, he goes, I should have killed you a long time ago. And that's a, that's what Superman says. And so next it says to the death. Um, so, yeah, very awesome issue. I really enjoyed this book. It was a lot of a lot of fun. Again, I love how the book is separated. So it's easy for a reader to understand what's going on. And even though there's a lot of information, it doesn't overwhelm you again because of the way it's written. And I got to commend, you know, commend Jeff Johns for doing it that way. The artwork is phenomenal. The subplots are really good. The stories is good. It leaves you with a cool cliffhanger of what's happening to Superman. And if you're a fan with Superman, even though he's new 52 Superman with powers, you're going to like this because in this issue, yes, he becomes powerless, but it's kind of the right way because he doesn't have the power of the yellow sun, not some cheesy solar flare bullshit. So I love this issue. This is really, really good. I'm going to give this one a 4.75 out of five stars guys in the comments below tell me what you think of justice league issue number 43 is this your kind of like superman book is this is the superhero go-to book for you and guys as always thank you for watching comic book corner 2.0 and until the next comic book review this is mike spider slayer signing off thanks for watching guys take care bye